Yeah, I just wanted to offer you an, interpret uh, an interpretation of the muscle tendon change. Um, in the West, you know, we look at fitness and wellness, and um, I think in, in terms of like cardio and, and muscle building, right? So we just look at building the muscles and then also, you know, pumping the heart. So it was very interesting, and it's, it's very interesting for me to think about uh, improving the efficiency of tendons. So what I'm working on right now is trying to improve the efficiency of the fascial system with, within the whole body and using, resist, <coughs> using resistance uh, to facilitate that, okay? So it starts off, it starts, uh, you know, very easily. I think that, um, you know, because we study Tai Chi and Qigong, we're heavily uh, targeting the lower back, right? So anytime that you hold something and you know, out in front of you, it starts to target the, the lower back and the shoulders, yeah, right? Now, uh, we also build the, the physical system uh, from, the, from the eastern point of view, from the legs, right? So we have to have strong legs, of course. Actually, we try to stay very soft and circular, and, and then we also have sword practice. So sword practice requires that we have very strong wrists, right? And so we need a lot of things. We need the uh, endurance, we need uh, speed, power, and then also not only that, but uh, the accuracy, right? So when we first started, we first started with a staff, just a wooden staff, right? And we did one at a time, one at a time, switched hands one at a time. But the goal has always, the goal is always, and will always be making, making it internal, right? Less, less physical and more internal. So that requires the breathing, right? And I don't have my belt, but I should be wearing a belt as well, right? If you know the Nei Gong uh, training, then we have to also put the belt for, 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 uh, to, to boost the chi. So I'll show you a little bit of what I do. This is a little bit of uh, static training. The first thing that I do is move the, the shoulders and the lats. I move the shoulders and the lats because those are the biggest muscles in the torso or in the upper body. And eventually I go into the wrist. I don't, I don't uh, start with the wrist. At the same time, I'm maintaining my root. I'm in horse stance, right? And then sometimes when I feel ready, I'll extend it. And this is one of the hardest because the weight is all the way out. And when I need a little bit of a break, I'll bring it in closer to the body. When it's closer to the body, it's not that demanding physically. And usually I'm not talking, so <laughs> this is going to disrupt the, the breathing, right? Yeah. So from there, if I stick with the basic stances, I just go to the side and go into mountain climbing stance. And I do rocking, backward, forward. And so sometimes, you know, I'll rest, right? And then sometimes I'll target the, lo the lower body, the stances. So from there, I use a little bit of the resistance of, of the, whether it's the rods or the stab, and I'll use that passively to stretch and open the quad, right? Passively. Because that extra weight, if I just release the extra weight, then I can open up the tissues rather than trying to force the tissues to open. Make sense? So from there, I can work my stances. Okay? And I can work my stance work. And this could be a number of positions, right? When I'm when I'm ready, then I can hold out the steps, the rods.
But then, since we're training martial arts, I have to think about some of the techniques that we're practicing. So now I have to have a sense of opponent. So that changes it now. My mind is away from my body, and now it's external. So I think about blocking and striking, covering, blocking, striking, coiling, coiling. So a lot of this can transfer into sword practice. Any sort of weapon, that's a short weapon. And you see here, now I can practice my coiling. And I'm resting one side. So for me, I think balance is important. For me, I like to be thorough. So I, try, I like to train balance one side. If I, do one, one, if I do something on one side, I try to do it on the other. So that's moving, and then I can do also static. So these are some of the positions, I think that are also in the muscle tendon change book, that you can also play with as well. Let me first start here, and then right here, right? Bring them out here. But now if I'm holding something, it changes it, right? So after that, I need to cool down. Usually I cool down. I use the same resistance passively to stretch. Yeah. And this is something I use a lot. Here. Usually I'm wearing slippers. Slippers. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just enough resistance so that I can passively allow the muscles to, the tissues to stretch. But first, as, as you can see, I warmed up. All of the movement was warming up. So that's it. Wow. Wow.